Welcome to Paul Offshore Fishing. I want to take you on a little Spanish mackerel and bluefish trip that we just came back on. After that video, after we get done sharing that trip, stay tuned. I'm going to show you the rigs we use to catch those fish. And that's why they call it fishing. Fortunately, we didn't get that one or the next one, but we ended up getting two in a box before I turned the camera back on for this next clip. We got another fish on. Oh, we got two on. Oh, this is a good one. Slow down. This is a better one. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed uh, going on that little trip with me to go catch some Spanish and bluefish. Uh, what we ended up using that, uh, 
out there was these number one planers, and this is a number one gold Clark spoon. Uh, they seem to be hitting this uh, number one gold Clark spoon better. Um, how these planers work is there's a ring on it, and there's the end, and it's got a weight that helps it dive down. But uh, you tie your main line to this ring here, and this is the deploy uh, position. You drop it in the water, and the uh, resistance on the water will pull this back. And when a fish hits your uh, spoon, it pulls the ring to the front here, and if this will come up to uh, the planer will come up to the surface, and you can reel the fish in, or else uh, you'll be fighting a planer. And uh, these in the past have been extremely. Um, don't want to say deadly but efficient uh, you want to troll these at six or uh, for Spanish um, my good uh, Spanish speed has been six knots um, so what also worked well I think it had more bites uh, obviously it had a span a, a bluefish on it but this I can get this guy down this uh, Boston mackerel Deep Diver Yozuri, and this is the smallest one that they had, or that uh, got. It's got about a, a four. Uh, this is 60 pound, just mono uh, leader on it, and I got it on a 20 pound braid over there. But uh, this had uh, seemed like the most action. Now it did. What happened is washout. Uh, you got to get this thing way back there. You pretty much put this out where you think it should be and double it. Uh, way, 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 way out there. Um, it had some, what we call as washout is, it'll be going in and it'll come out and roll out the water. And uh, it's tended to do it more on a following sea instead of going head in. But I've changed out the treble hooks with these inline hooks to help with uh, the washout. And it actually, I, I think it did help. Uh, one time it came around and this hook was on the, was kind of pinned up on the top and it wouldn't stay in the water for the life of it so six knots is what we pulled those now as you could notice that uh, i don't know if you could notice but we went at the end of the day and we went to a spot that i've caught them in before at this main uh time of year and the reason why i know that is because i try to keep a fishing journal Got a couple of videos and the cues coming up on my Monday night or Monday morning uh, releases. I uh, want so if you want to stick tuned, uh, got a video coming out on the benefits of having a fishing journal. This would be another example on it. So make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell notification so you can know when that video releases. It's going to be kind of in a couple of weeks, so there's time, but uh. You might want to take a look at that and go ahead and subscribe. Uh, also, uh, going through here, we're, um, I'm trying to come out with a, kind of set a schedule up. So Mondays at 10, you know, that's going to be the main uh, drop. And then if I got some bonus vit footage like this one, in, in, for instance, it's going to drop around Thursday, uh, same time around 10. So I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Hit the smash that like button if you liked it. And hopefully, if this little tropical storm will get out, we can or get out of here and get off the coast. We can get you some more fishing action. So we'll catch you next time. And again, thank you for uh, checking me out and watching my video. Have a good one.